great news for laptop enthusiasts. A model with a 100-inch screen has finally been invented. Well, it's only a virtual laptop, but no one will be able to peek, so you can comfortably chat with your friends and watch funny cat videos while at work. It features 8GB of RAM, a Snapdragon 865 processor, and a 256GB hard drive. The laptop runs on Android, weighs only 1.5kg, and, and costs around $2,000. And don't worry if your vision's not perfect, the company will provide prescription glasses if you need them. Why would someone feel the need to create a robotic sixth finger? A team from France and Japan has its own answer. It can be beneficial in prosthetic development. Specifically, the team is studying how the brain responds to this upgrade. If test participants perceive the robotic finger as part of their own body, which part of the brain is involved in this process? Looking ahead, these studies could lead to the creation of artificial body parts that will wear like clothing. Well, why not? Perhaps someday, alongside their amazing laptops, some IT specialists might desire a couple of extra fingers, too. The delivery of new fingers could be handled by these drones from the US. The XP4 model is designed to carry loads of up to 7 kilograms and can reach speeds of 111 kilometers per hour. And that's not even its maximum speed, just the cruising speed. Moreover, the wings fold, allowing the drone to take off and land vertically. One of the prototypes is currently being tested by the US Navy, and the design can be scaled up to accommodate five passengers, which makes it cooler than the competition. Here's a new development for making fantastic shots. You can use it in a flying taxi or take it with you on outdoor adventures. In a nutshell, its main purpose is to protect the camera from falls. The rifle-shaped platform provides a comfortable grip and allows you to move around confidently in search of that perfect angle. Moreover, there's space on the platform for flashlights, microphones, and other accessories. The shutter is controlled by the trigger, and the yellow lever switches shooting modes. It'll add 800 grams in weight, but it's better to carry a little more weight than to worry about damaging your camera. We're awaiting more details and pricing on Indiegogo. There are also some incredible advancements in the world of fashion. How about a dress that uses neurotechnology? It changes color based on brain waves, and the data is transmitted through one of the world's first brain computer interfaces with 1,024 channels. They named this dress Pangolin, probably due to the resemblance to its scales. The working principle is simple. The more active your brain waves, the more the dress glows. Interestingly, the scales were 3D printed. It seems like engineers might soon be backstage at fashion shows instead of tailors. Coming up next is a fascinating form of entertainment for those who are still children at heart. A robot priced at $2,900. Sure, you could add $1,600 and buy a Wuling electric car, but it won't be able to moonwalk, jump, or be steered with a joystick like this robot can. And if you feel like a change, you can put the robot to work. It can carry up to 80 kilograms of cargo, and one charge lasts for three to four hours. How big is the wind energy market? 
Well, in the US alone, 16 states cover 10% of their energy consumption through wind power, and there's much more potential to explore. This Spanish project is particularly noteworthy because it's a floating design that can be easily scaled up. They're currently testing the prototype and determining the capacity of the future fully developed versions, aiming for 15 megawatts from a turbine. The project has already secured financing at EU level, involving millions of dollars, and has partnered up with Intexi, a company connected with the Iran Oman gas pipeline project. According to WHO experts, approximately 16% of all deaths worldwide are attributed to cardiovascular diseases. The good news is that new scientific advancements are continuously helping to save more lives. One such development are these 3D printed replicas of real hearts. These replicas consist of a layer of elastic ink on the outside, and tubes, sleeves and valves on the inside. They serve as an ideal way to test different treatments on patients, such as assessing whether weakened parts of the heart can withstand them. Additionally, these replicas will be incredibly valuable for training future doctors, and the best part is that it only takes 24 hours to prepare and print the model. Deep inside, we yearn to get rid of the natural limitations, walk deeper into the forest, climb higher mountains, and challenge the unprecedented speed limits, say the creators of this exoskeleton. While it's not quite like Tony Stark's suit, it comes at a modest price of $300. With this exoskeleton, you can work more efficiently, travel farther, and experience less fatigue, as it compensates for up to 30 kilograms of weight and can cover a distance of 25 kilometers on a single charge. You can even reach speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour in it. Not enough to outrun a bear, but certainly enough to leave annoying fellow hikers behind. The weight of the exoskeleton, including two batteries, is 2.4 kilograms. Here's another fascinating development, a system that generates electricity from waves. The concept is straightforward. Pressure fluctuations in the membrane causes air movement, which in turn rotates the turbine, and the results speak for themselves. During tests in Portugal, a 40 converter installation produced 60 megawatts of power. It seems that the authorities share the same sentiment, as the team has already been invited to the Europe Wave program, focused on wave energy, and received funding from the European Regional Development Fund. What can we do with all this energy? One option is to charge the 16.5 million electric cars that were all over the world in 2021. And with the right infrastructure, it's possible to produce many times more vehicles. The key is to have enough of these stations installed. The idea is to swap a depleted battery with a fresh one, as it's both cheaper and faster than waiting for a full charge. In about 10 minutes, everything is ready. A network of stations can be built in a city in a matter of weeks. The great thing is that these stations are fully automatic and compact, with one station requiring the space of only two parking lots. It's worth starting as soon as possible. In the United States alone, there are plans to invest $39 billion into the installation of chargers by 2030. Thank you.
Have you ever come across footprints that seemed mysterious and out of place? They might have been left by Bigfoot or by the owner of these unique shoes. A designer from Germany combined 3D printing with legends about cryptids, creatures from modern mythology, to create this footwear. The main material used is TPE polymer, which is also commonly used for smartphone covers and soft pads on toothbrush handles. One of the advantages of these shoes is its thin but durable parts. Even with a thickness of about a millimeter, they can withstand the elements, including hot sun and rain. To create these shoes, the designer chose the Sintratec S2 SLS printer, the same one used by Daimler to print spare parts. Japan is facing a potential labor shortage of over 11 million people by 2040. To address this issue proactively, they're introducing railroad robots, which could reduce the workforce by up to 30%. The remaining workers will operate them remotely using VR glasses controlling the robots from special cabins and displaying the tasks directly on their bosses' computers. These robots will be valuable for various tasks, such as repairing traffic lights, replacing signs, and working with wires. If you don't need robots yet, keep an eye out for extra arms. These ones come from Japan and can be attached to a special backpack. No need to recreate the Dr. Octopus experience. The backpack can support up to six arms, and the entire setup weighs 15 kilograms. The arms can be controlled either by the wearer using a joystick or remotely by operators, one arm per person. Another great feature is that the system is modular, allowing users to swap arms with other backpack owners. This could be particularly useful for professions like hairdressers, massage therapists, and construction workers. And who knows, maybe in the future, neurocontrol will be integrated into it too. Once, Volvo conducted a series of crash tests for rescue training, which included dropping 10 cars from a height of 30 meters. This was just one of the many tests they conducted to improve car safety. However, for less extreme tests, cost becomes a factor. For this purpose, they use special vehicle targets, mock-ups of the required vehicles that can be quickly assembled on a special platform. Within a few minutes, the target can be prepared and accelerated to a speed of 100 km per hour. This serves as an ideal solution for testing unmanned systems, as the vehicle targets are detected by radar, infrared systems, and scanners as the real ones. VR and AR gadgets are not just for gamers, they have practical applications in factories too. A US company offers these gloves to corporate clients. Thanks to compressed air technology and hundreds of microactuators, these gloves can make virtual objects feel real, matching their size and texture. The gloves are compatible with software like Unreal Engine and Unity, and can be fine-tuned if you're familiar with C++. They come in four universal sizes, and the power supply can be carried in a backpack. The price for these gloves is $5,500, and there's an additional subscription fee. Some websites dubbed this development the Flying F1 Bollet, which is not far from the truth. This manned drone packs 220 horsepower and can reach speeds of up to 140 kilometers per hour. They took the test seriously and even brought in Mirko Cecina, a multiple DSL drone racing champion, to demonstrate its capabilities. 
he performed impressive turns, barrel rolls and flips, giving us a glimpse of what future races might look like, possibly surpassing F1 and NASCAR. If you want to experience the thrill of piloting, you can give it a try with the official DSL drone racing game. Originally designed for the military, this device was later adapted for rescuers and firefighters. The idea is simple. The device uses water with an abrasive material, ejecting it at a pressure of 96 atmospheres to quickly break through obstacles. The power is impressive. A two-brick-thick wall can be breached in just 30 seconds, while an airplane fuselage or a tanker hull can be penetrated in just 10 seconds. Once the obstacle is dealt with, firefighters can use the device to put out fires using water mist, which is highly effective. Moreover, the system is compact, costs around $15,000, and can even be installed on pickup trucks, providing more ready-to-use firefighting equipment. For fans of steampunk, here's something exciting. Romania has developed a steam rocket. This is not a joke, it's a genuine project that involves using steam instead of fuel in one of the rocket stages. Ideally, this steam-powered stage will be enough to reach an altitude of 8 kilometers, after which the rocket will continue its flight conventionally. However, the launch will have to be from a half-submerged position. Nevertheless, the test rockets have already successfully reached the stratosphere. Here's some astonishing news from the UN. The top 100 energy companies are divesting fossil fuel-related assets at a rate of $15 billion per year. The funds released from this can be put to good use in environmentally friendly projects, such as the Scottish project Nova Innovation. They focus on tidal power and offer 100 kilowatt turbines designed to last for about 20 years without interfering with ships. The team is ready to work worldwide, and they already have clients lined up, with 15 turbines ordered for the Canadian province of Nova Scotia. In the United States, they conducted a study to calculate how much parents spend on their children until they are of age. On average, it amounts to almost $234,000. That's why these clothes are a real budget-saving solution for families, as they can grow with the child. These pants and pullovers are suitable for children from 9 months to 4 years old. Inspired by aerospace developments, the clothes are breathable, waterproof, and can be easily washed at 30 degrees Celsius. A set of pants and a pullover costs $178. This shield may not be made of vibranium, but Captain America would still appreciate it, because it helps save people too. It has a concealed fire extinguisher inside, and depending on the version, it can hold up to 6 kilograms of special powder to fight fires. The fire extinguisher is in compliance with legal regulations, and when not in use, it looks sleek in the hallway of an office center or an apartment. Additionally, it's easy to control with one hand, since it weighs around 11 kilograms. Did you know that the 2022 Beijing Olympics were the first ever held without real snow? Instead, the Chinese used only artificial snow, and this might have set a trend. The upcoming 2026 Winter Games will take place in Italy, where they manufacture these snow generators. 
The TT-10 model can produce snow even in temperatures as high as plus 2 degrees Celsius, and the quality is said to be comparable to precious stones, thanks to the use of parts made of rubies. Moreover, operating the snow generator is easy, as the support tilts, eliminating the need to use a ladder. Going camping is great, but first you need to pack your bags. Food, water, sunscreen, clothes, power banks, toys. In short, only the most essential things seem to disappear into those bags like if they were black holes. As a result, vacations feel like a fitness challenge, and you'll be lucky if you need to make two trips to carry the bags. To save your limbs from overloading and your mood from dropping, consider using this monowheel with a 91 kg load capacity. Its steamroller-like design comes with a foam drum and debris protection, and it weighs 11 kg when empty. The price for this product is $300. Do you think it's worth it? There are many events related to bicycle culture, including the National Bike Summit. At this meeting, American cyclists were delighted with these wave-shaped protective barriers. While it's considered a test version, it shows great promise because it offers both simple installation and an unusual design. As for the function, nothing's changed. It serves to protect bicycle lanes from people who tend to park wherever they want and also helps separate car and bike lanes. Here's an interesting innovation for warehouse workers, an augmented reality system designed for quick parcel searches. Each item in the parcels is tagged with RFID tags, and the worker wearing special glasses can actually see those tagged items through the boxes. This approach significantly speeds up the search and sorting process, as the worker instantly knows which box they need and where it's located. It achieves 96% accuracy in picking verification, and can locate hidden items with an accuracy of 10 centimeters which also allows for verifying if the picker has made any mistakes. The development is based on Microsoft HoloLens, making the commercial prospects quite promising. And these robots are ready to compete with street sweepers. They clean the streets 10 times faster than humans, and can reach speeds of up to 10 kilometers per hour. What's more, they're powered by electricity and consume 86% less than competing robots. With a single charge lasting for 17 hours, these autonomous and quiet robots are perfect for night shifts. Test versions have already been spotted on the streets of Helsinki, so it's no surprise that the city is consistently ranked among the cleanest in the world. Let's head from Finland to China to check out the parking lots of the future. Forget about driving around searching for a parking space, Robots will take care of parking and returning your car. These robots can adapt to your car's wheelbase and park it with an impressive accuracy of plus or minus 20 millimeters. It's not just cool, but also cost effective, as the clever arrangement of parking spaces increases capacity by about 30 to 40 percent. Additionally, the fully automatic four-story parking lot on the screen allows owners to save money on salaries too. Hey. 
In 2016, America generated a staggering 42 million tons of plastic waste, surpassing all other countries in recorded history. With such a vast amount of trash, efficient removal is crucial, and this technology needs just 65 seconds per container. The robotic boom makes the entire process easily controllable by one person, and the special containers can hold up to 5 cubic meters of waste. It's a fast, simple, and up to six times more cost-effective solution compared to conventional garbage trucks. You've probably come across this site before. Workers slowly loading a truck at a warehouse, store, or pickup point. Well, they might want to take a look at this robot on the screen. It can load boxes at an impressive speed of a thousand per hour, optimizing the use of space in the truck. What's more, a single person can control both individual robots and multiple ones, and they can easily work with various warehouse equipment. Just keep in mind that this method is not suitable for fragile goods. Finally, here's a solution to avoid listening to your colleagues' phone conversations. You can get them these handy gadgets. They can simply hold it to their mouth or attach it with a strap, and it will reduce the noise level by 20 to 30 decibels, ensuring that their conversations won't disturb others. These gadgets can be connected to smartphones or PCs via Bluetooth or cable, and they provide eight hours of silence on a single charge. Moreover, the person at the other end will enjoy better clarity during the conversation, as the gadget effectively filters out background noise and other disturbances. The price for this device is $156. According to WHO experts, you should walk for 150 to 300 minutes every week to stay healthy. That's where the creators of Wahoo sneakers come in. You can wear them all day long without hurting your feet. The secret lies in pneumatic cushioning. Small cylinders are filled with air based on the type of terrain, activity, and user preferences. For instance, the sneakers become stiffer for running and softer for a walk in the park. To fine-tune the settings, you can use their dedicated app, which provides suggestions based on walk statistics. The first deliveries are scheduled for this August, and the price per pair is $201. Apple has finally launched its much-awaited AR headset, which allows you to switch between augmented, mixed, virtual, and extended reality with a simple wheel turn. The speed of development is impressive. The glasses were announced on June the 5th, and in July, news broke about their distribution to app developers. There's still much work to be done, though, as the glasses are intended to offer users a home theater, a workspace, navigation, and other features. They also promise a 4K screen in each eye. The price for these glasses is expected to start at $3,500. If delving into Apple's development doesn't interest you much, there's an alternative option to explore working with AI. This robot not only helps you understand how AI learns, 
but also lets you witness the real-life results of its learning process. For instance, in just 15 minutes, the AI can learn to balance a ball on a stand, and that's just one of the many scenarios. You can unleash your imagination by learning the Inkling programming language. The robot's source code is open for modification, and you can easily 3D print various additional parts to customize it. Here's an interesting statistic. Approximately one out of every seven accidents is caused by tire damage, and 47% of those are due to wear and tear. That's why regular tire inspections are essential, and with modern technology, they can be done quickly. For instance, to assess tread depth, you can simply drive over these special plates, and mechanics will have access to all the necessary data, including the level of wear and the causes behind it. Moreover, the data can be easily presented in a user-friendly format, making it easy for anyone to understand. And it can also be sent to another shop within the network if that's more convenient for the customer. In Hong Kong, karaoke is a significant part of life. Once, people even use karaoke to protest. So, one local team has come up with a unique speaker innovation. Instead of traditional speakers and subwoofers, they use glass to produce sound through vibrations. The sound is only audible directly in front of the speaker, so you can have multiple people listening to different songs in the same room without disturbing each other. The speakers can be connected via Bluetooth or a 3.5mm jack, and they're available for purchase at $450 per pair. The World Health Organization reminds us that approximately 29% of the world's population has some form of visual impairment. Even for those with good eyesight, navigating modern city streets can be challenging with electric scooters zooming around. To assist people with visual impairments, a team from Austria has developed special shoes that can detect obstacles up to 4 meters away and provide warnings. These shoes use vibrations, light or sound to signal potential hazards. The best part is that these sensors can be installed in both new and old pairs of shoes. Last year, the solar energy industry achieved a remarkable milestone by adding a record 240 gigawatts of capacity. But the progress doesn't stop there. American engineers have developed a solar cell as thick as a sheet of paper, which can be easily attached to various surfaces, from drone wings to sails. Once installed, it functions as a solar panel, providing about 370 watts per kilogram, which is approximately 18 times more efficient than traditional panels. Moreover, it's incredibly lightweight, weighing 100 times less. For instance, if you install it on the roof of a house, it'll generate around 8,000 watts, while adding only 20 kilograms of weight. This January, Samsung made waves in the gadget market with its latest innovation, prototypes of flexible screens. These screens can be folded and rolled from multiple sides, making them an ideal solution for compact gadgets like laptops and smartphones. Imagine having a device with a screen that can go from 14 to 17.3 inches with a simple flick. It's a significant step towards the convergence of smartphones and laptops. However, specific details about the first gadgets utilizing this technology are yet to be revealed.
Japan has also managed to surprise everyone, especially with its space projects. There's a relatively young company there, not even 10 years old, but they're already creating equipment for exploring the Moon and Mars. But this isn't just an idea. They've already tested a robotic arm on the ISS, and now they're getting ready to send a rover on a lunar expedition in 2026. The main takeaway from all of this is that we've reached a point where it's more cost-effective and efficient to send robots into space instead of humans. This story is also about robotic arms. But this time, they're designed for people by a company called Esper Bionics. For now, they're made one by one, but the company is planning to start mass production later this year. The concept behind these robotic arms seems like something out of a sci-fi movie. They respond to muscle activity and brain signals, using artificial intelligence and connecting to the cloud for enhanced functionality and learning capabilities. The company has even bigger plans in the works, including robotic legs and implants to enhance the human body. They believe the market is ready for such groundbreaking advancements. In the movie I, Robot, the protagonist wonders, can a robot take a blank canvas and turn it into a masterpiece? Well, that question remains unanswered, but when it comes to ordinary painting, robots like Myro are quite successful. This robot can paint up to 929 square meters per day, with an accuracy of about 2 centimeters. Setting up the work area takes only about 20 minutes through a tablet, and the robot can avoid objects like windows and doors. Plus, its excellent 360-degree vision ensures safety during the painting process. Many people have probably helped someone with a stroller at least once, and were surprised by just how heavy it is. Canada has taken up the challenge of making parents' lives easier, and has come up with a smart stroller packed with cool features. It has a parking brake, two motors, cameras and sensors. Its technology rivals that of cars. The stroller even has an autopilot feature, when there's no child inside, it moves next to the parents, an auto-rocking system, and a white noise generator. The price is $3,300. Warhammer 40,000 fans are well aware that red means fast. However, statistics from the United States reveal that the most popular car colors are white, black, and gray. Thankfully, BMW has addressed this issue in a radical way. Their concept car uses e-paper technology, consisting of 240 segments with adjustable colors, allowing you to choose any color you desire. This concept hints at BMW's future, and it's possible that we may see this technology in their production vehicles very soon. The Airbus A380 holds the title of the largest passenger airliner boasting a wingspan greater than the width of a soccer field. Its parts are also massive, contributing to an overall weight of approximately 280 tons. To handle the construction process, 
Specialized machinery like these platforms were used. Each platform can carry up to 90 tons and maneuver autonomously without the need for markings, achieving an accuracy of plus or minus 3 millimeters. Although the A380 production ceased in 2021, these platforms continue to serve various other useful purposes. This construction robot solution is making excavator operators uneasy. The prototype is semi-autonomous, handling simple tasks like digging trenches on its own. For more complex tasks, the operator can use VR to connect from anywhere and control the bucket with one hand. The robot will stop if a person enters the danger zone. And in case of network issues, the operator can switch to manual operation and operate the machine from the driver's seat. Meanwhile, the Jetoptera team has developed an interesting bladeless engine. In simple terms, they made the compressed airflow pull in 15 times more thrust. Jetoptera's main advantage is its efficiency. Their engine provides 10% more thrust compared to a turbojet, while requiring 50% less fuel. It's also 30% lighter and allows for vertical takeoff, making it naturally appealing to the United States Air Force. The takeoff weight limit is 4.5 tons, and the team aims to present a flight ready concept plane by 2025. According to an article on the UN website, bees play a crucial role in humanity's survival. As pollinators, they are responsible for producing 35% of the world's plant products. So, it's commendable to see teams working to improve the comfort of these insects. Take, for example, these hives that are designed to appeal to bees. They're made of wood, clay, hemp and other natural materials, providing three times better protection from cold and heat. The hives also have a modular structure. Interestingly, the bees themselves chose the best volume after tests, and it turned out that they preferred the 40 to 50 litre models. Richard Hopkins is a familiar name to many F1 fans as he worked with teams like Brabham, McLaren and Red Bull, and renowned drivers such as Ayrton Senna and Lewis Hamilton. While he may have left the F1, he continues to make headlines. Under his guidance, Australian students built an impressive electric car. It holds the title as the world's fastest solar-powered model, covering 1,000 kilometers in just 11 hours, 53 minutes and 32 seconds. Although this incredible car won't be mass-produced, it serves as an excellent example of the potential of solar technology. Time magazine traditionally selects both the person of the year and the best inventions of the year, which is usually a comprehensive list. In 2020, they featured a unique shirt designed for music enthusiasts, including those with hearing impairments. This innovative shirt allows users to feel the music through their skin. The sound is converted into a digital signal and then transmitted to sensors that produce vibrations on different parts of the shirt. 
As a result, low notes are felt at the bottom, while high notes are felt at the top. It's a great accessory for a night out at the opera or a cozy movie night at home, and it's available to purchase at $1,800. Currently, approximately 80% of global goods are transported by sea, and by 2050, the demand for sea freight is expected to triple. That's why the reliable and classic fenders are still valuable. Interestingly, some models are now being made partly from recycled tires. The fenders from this manufacturer come in various sizes, with the largest being 4.5 by 9 meters. These fenders are built to withstand pressure around 0.82 atmosphere. As the number of customers grows, the fenders are customized to meet their specific needs. In 2021, the global merchant fleet saw an increase of about 3%. The global helicopter fleet is thriving too, with over 56,000 helicopters counted in 2015. This unique invention will surely find buyers, as not many companies offer a combined takeoff and landing pad with a transportation platform. The best feature is the folding wings. Even if the pilot lands at an angle, they automatically adjust to position the helicopter correctly. The P-15W platform can handle up to 4.5 tons and can transform into a square with a 4.6-meter side. Customers will also benefit from the built-in processor and all-wheel drive. Experts have a surprising fact to share. Sharks are actually less dangerous than coconuts, which cause an average of about 150 fatalities each year. However, in the public perception, sharks are considered more threatening. That's why a wide range of methods has been invented to repel them. For example, for just $300, owners can create an electromagnetic field measuring 2.5 by 1 meters, causing uncontrollable muscle spasms in all sharks and rays, while remaining safe for whales and dolphins. All this makes this technology the most effective in the world. Last year, the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation released a study revealing a striking figure a global shortage of 43 million health workers. In the face of this, every pair of helping hands counts, even if those hands belong to a robot. These French robots, named Miroki, a boy, and Miroka, a girl, are designed to deliver food, transport patients, carry medicines and medical records, essentially helping to support and assist people. They can carry up to 3 kilograms, and one charge lasts for 8 hours. A test in a Paris hospital is planned for next year, and in the future, these robots may find their way into schools, hotels, and nursing homes. The world's first underwater farm allows to cultivate strawberries, beans, tomatoes, herbs, and more. It was built in the Italian Bay of Noli using special floating spheres positioned at depths of 4.5 to 11 meters. The farm operates on solar energy and is entirely self-sufficient, including water desalination. According to the manufacturers, it offers a viable option for farmers in the southern regions of Italy, where the weather is often too hot, the climate unpredictable, and fertile soil scarce. Additionally, the farm provides an additional income opportunity through diving tours.
This walking cane chair has won competitions and awards, and has even appeared on TV, and for good reason. Weighing just around a kilogram, the standard model can support up to 130 kilograms and provides a comfortable place to rest your legs anywhere. It's designed for heights between 148 to 185 centimeters, comes with a carrying case for easy portability, and can handle rain or even a quick swim without any issues. The price for this versatile product is $108. Finally, we'll see not just garbage islands, but also solar islands popping up in waterways around the world. The creators of this innovative island are already sharing some impressive figures. It harnesses a peak power of about 73 kilowatts from 180 solar panels, with only 400 watts needed for the island's own systems. The panels are designed to always face the sun, and their number can be adjusted based on the customer's preferences. An additional benefit is that the cooler water around the island will lead to less algae. In London, tourists can be amazed not only by the ancient architecture, but also by modern designs. A great example of this is a one-of-a-kind pedestrian bridge built as part of the redevelopment of the former industrial area of Cody Dock. Interestingly, it's not operated by robots or smart automation, but by people using winches. You might wonder how it's possible to move a 13-ton bridge. The secret lies in its symmetry and wavy rails. Made of steel and oak, this bridge is sure to impress onlookers and inspire architects for years to come. In the near future, flying cabs might become a reality in London and other cities, as this team aims to introduce them in about five years. If successful, passengers will be able to travel in four-seat autonomous vehicles at a cost of around $3 for every 1.6 kilometers. These vehicles are expected to reach speeds of up to 222 kilometers per hour in cruising mode, and one charge will cover approximately 44 kilometers. The implementation of such a system would require new infrastructure, and the team seems to have garnered support from Boeing, which is promising for their endeavor. With cabs becoming more autonomous, why not make loading belongings hassle-free too? These robots, based on the principle of an inverse compound pendulum, have got it covered. They can accelerate up to 10 meters per second and securely hold loads using suction cups. During tests, the robots had no problem carrying 100 kilograms of weight and determining the right gripping force for different loads, from crate stacks to cable reels. But that's not all. There are exciting plans to enable the robots to hand loads directly to people's hands, among other cool options. But air cabs and robot loaders are not the only innovations of the future. A French startup has unveiled a hydrogen crossover. It's expected to be available for purchase in 2025. Let's take a look at its features. 300 horsepower, a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour, and the ability to change the special capsules in just 30 seconds. 
Speaking of the capsules, the creators recognized that hydrogen refueling infrastructure might take some time, so they opted for a hydrogen tank plus refueling capsules approach. A full tank can provide a range of up to 800 kilometers, and the vehicle can hold up to six capsules. The estimated cost starts at $69,000. Is it possible to improve a door handle? Experts in South Korea have done it, and their new version is not only more convenient, but also safer. In emergencies like a fire, conventional handles can become difficult to grip due to heat, but the new design allows you to easily open the door with any object. These innovative handles are based on extensive research and use the patented AnyLock technology. They are particularly helpful for people with disabilities, seniors, and children. Additionally, the handles come with an antibacterial coating for added hygiene. The price for one handle is around $50. In numerous countries, there is an existing shortage of farm workers, and the future prospects look worrisome. For instance, by 2045, the working age population in the northern part of Japan's Honshu Island may decline by 65%. To address this issue, robots are stepping in to help. These robots can operate autonomously, even without being connected to the grid, and they are versatile enough to handle various tasks, from controlling weeds to applying fertilizers. They offer an accuracy of plus or minus 11 millimeters and are equipped with Intel Core i7 processors for efficient multitasking. As robots handle all the work, why not take a break and enjoy a jacuzzi boat? This unique experience comes with a price tag of $50,000 offering a six-seater version with built-in jets. The best part is that the boat is eco-friendly, as it runs on electric power and has a self-cleaning system for the water. With a single charge lasting up to five hours, customers can also customize their experience with options like an awning, illumination, and music. Some clever entrepreneurs have even started a rental business, charging $360 for a two-hour session. Japanese advertising is known for being a unique art form, often gaining millions of views on YouTube. Nissan, the auto giant, combines this creativity with their advanced technology to showcase their new all-wheel drive system. They created a masterpiece by featuring a robot serving food in a restaurant. Thanks to E-Force's precise braking control on each wheel, both plates and guests remain completely safe during the demonstration. Here's an interesting concept from Taiwan that will surely appeal to delivery drivers as it combines mobility and ample cargo capacity. The front end of this vehicle can be narrowed to 65 centimeters on the way to pick up a load, and once you've got it, you can widen it to a meter to accommodate even 5-liter water bottles. Additionally, being a trike, it offers increased stability which sets it apart from typical electric scooters. The Columbia engineering team has taken on a challenging task, creating touch-sensing robotic fingers. These fingers will be useful for building robots designed for delicate operations in manufacturing or laboratories. The concept works like this. 
When the fingers are pressed, they deform, causing the LEDs inside to change position. This alters the distance traveled by the light, and based on this data, researchers can understand how the robot grasps objects and at which points. With the help of machine learning technology, a robotic hand equipped with these fingers quickly learned to grasp objects without relying on cameras in just a couple of hours. The team is confident that this is just the beginning of what these fingers can achieve. Let's take a look at something simple yet useful, like this mini chair. Invented in Germany, it mainly targets construction workers who spend long hours on their knees. The problem with this posture is that it can cause issues with the knee joints. To address this, the German company offers a solution. When using this chair, the hips and ankles will always be at an optimal angle, reducing the load on the back and shoulders, which will surely be appreciated. The chair is made of aluminium, weighing 1.8 kilograms, and is available to everyone at a modest price of $40. Continuing with the theme of German simplicity, while companies like Nike focus on multi-layer soles, foot support, and other aspects, German experts took a different approach and made these shoes. It's reminiscent of knights, and indeed, it's like chainmail for your feet. It allows you to walk, run, dance, and enjoy all activities to the fullest width. The design's really simple. Steel mesh, lacing, and a polymer insert to prevent slipping. You can even wear them without socks year-round. The only thing to consider is the price of $369.